Hello, welcome again to Ruse Musings. I am Becca Rue. Today I'm offering a, an experience I had while I was falling asleep the other night. So a couple of nights ago, I was getting into bed and I saw for the first time my brain assess if my day was a successful day or not. And this is one of the upsides of a yoga practice. I've learned this witness self deeper and deeper and deeper through having practiced yoga. So we start to have the ability to watch our patterns from kind of an outside perspective to see them for what they are without judging them, without reacting to them. So I wasn't even aware that I did this on a regular basis. I assume that I do, that at the end of the day I was saying, okay, was today successful? Do I get to check the successful box or the failure box? And I was like, what is that about? What is that about? And when I've taught this in class, as I'm saying this story, lots of people are nodding their head like, oh yeah, I can relate to that. That's something that I do as well. And this gets me concerned about the, the end of the story. So number one, if you have these voices where you're constantly trying to figure out if you're meeting some standard that lives in your head, um, I, I wonder first where that standard comes from. So that's what I asked myself. I said, what is this about? Is this is this a financial thing? Did I make enough money for the day? Is it a, a connection thing? Did I, did I connect to enough people? Did I make a meaningful difference in the day? Is it a successful thing? Which is what I think for myself in this particular inquiry I deduced that I felt like did I do enough to support my business, play yoga, so that it is successful. And I'm nervous for us in this thought pattern around where the voices come from and when does it end? So that I ask us to really dig deep inside and do the work saying, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna assess myself constantly, certain people in class were saying they do this all day, every day, like am I failing, am I failing, am I succeeding, am I succeeding? We do this with our exercise, we do this with our diets, we do this with our relationships, with our bank accounts, with our resumes. So it's just a constant like trying to meet the standard that for the most part I think comes from externally and our moms and our bosses and our friends are pretty quick to tell us what their expectations for us are here's everything I need you to do to succeed in my eyes so that then we end up trying to meet these external circumstances constantly when is enough money enough money when is your business successful or when when does it still need work and I don't think most of us, it's certainly not myself in this, in this evening before I was going to bed, have done the work to say what, when is enough enough. And that's a very American pattern to just end up with millions of dollars. I mean, not all of us do. <laughs> but um, I can see it going that way. End up with plenty of money. And most of us, I mean, I said this in class too, how many of us really truly are lacking that we don't, our, our basic needs aren't getting met? I mean, most, most of the people I know, and that's very fortunate. So I pause for a second to say like, wow, that's so fortunate of us to not be trying to get food on the table for ourselves. We're wondering about the new iPhone and the new computer programs. And so that's where, where we're at and thinking that we're still not enough. Even though all of our basic needs are met, even though we have these meaningful relationships in our lives, we're still constantly feeling like we're failing. So what do we do? And what did I do this evening and what has inspired me to offer this to you? We think, dig down deep to our heart's deepest longing and say, what is it, again, that I most deeply value? If I was to die tomorrow, have I, do I truly feel like my life is a failure or that this day was a failure? What do I want to align with? And I don't personally, money isn't my, one of my primary things, nor are things. Right, I, I super like bags, like I love bags and wallets, is one of my, you know, I like them, but they're not what's most important to me. What's most important to me is to show up honestly and to offer something meaningful. So that's what I came to in this evening before I went to bed. Becca, are you showing up? Are you really showing up for yourself in your business, for your relationships, for the relationships in your life that are meaningful to you? So that was my answer in this one inquiry to how to stop the churning of am I enough, am I enough, am I enough, am I enough. And yoga says, as I've told you guys lots of times, that in any given moment, in the present moment, we are always completely whole. We're lacking nothing. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. 
you don't need to change anything, you don't need to make yourself better, you don't need to make more money, you don't need to lose more weight. You're completely whole the way you are. Yoga's super clear about that. And then on the flip side, just to mess with us, because that's part of yoga's job, it says, but you need to show up every day and you need to practice every day and you need to connect in this meaningful way to your spiritual self, to your deepest self every day. But then if I didn't show up every day, didn't I fail? No, you're still totally whole and you start again fresh because in the present moment I absolutely believe this and don't experience it much in my life because I, I tend to live in the future. Some of us tend to live in the past like regret, regret, regret. I am much more worry, anxiety, anxiety for the future. Am I enough? Can I do more? Should I be doing more? And then I said, no, Becca, if you're showing up, if you show up to teach all these classes, if you show up to film your videos, if you show up for your students face to face with them, that's enough. I could do more on social media. I could do more in various other areas, but that's not what I most deeply value. I want to show up for people face to face in my classes and be able to hear them and receive them and listen to where they're at and share honestly where I'm at. So that's my offering to you. Do your work to figure out what it is that you most deeply value so that we have more room to counter with those mean voices that come up and want it to us to feel like we're not enough always, that we're constantly failing, that we're not meeting someone, some external expectation that might be our mom, it might be our dad, it might be grandparents, it might just be society. So figure it out for yourself, and then when those voices come up, you, you cross-check and you say, no, I did show up today. That's mine. I did. I did show up today. I showed up, so I don't get to feel bad. I get to feel good! Yay! I will um, hopefully see you in class this week. I, um, I've been teaching this. I've been teaching lots of hip opening as well, if that's something you're into. And please do share this video with your friends on Facebook, um, or you can email it to them if you feel like it might be helpful. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.